Hi, I'm Eric Ryan, and welcome to Drinking Irish. And had a massive, massive lie in today. Like, no messing around. It was lunchtime proper when I was getting up. Well, after. I was like, kind of going, gotta listen to that body, gotta look after myself, you know? Gotta be smart. So, yeah, no, I'll be honest. It was the right call, it was a good call, and I'm happy with the call I made. Went well. So, now, having had a good. I won't call it brunch, because, you know, what do you even call it breakfast? What do you call it? Having had donuts for breakfast, slash lunch, slash my first meal of the day, and then having had an actual dinner, I'm going to have a beer. I had a lot of coffee for breakfast as well. And the beer is a second visit from this, these chaps from Kilkenny, although they seem to have somebody near me as well. Sullivan's, with their Irish gold, golden ale. And it is... Uh, going to be one that I'm doing, partly because I'd already got it, obviously, but uh, I'd already planned on doing it. It's 5.2%, by the way. Uh, but also because Tommy Tracy, who occasionally watches the videos, uh, was uh, asking me to have a go at this and see what I thought, because he's had it himself. And uh, wanted to see what I got off it. And so, figured, yeah, sure, listen. It's in the pile. It was going to be reviewed anyway. We got a request. Let's do it. So I was going to clean the coffee pot earlier and somehow didn't completely twat myself because I was reaching over to get it from where it was with the, with the mug and as I was grabbing both the coffee pot and the mug I got a mad twinge in my calf and it's like there's only one way this is getting resolved I've got to stand still and very carefully move it around otherwise many things are falling, many things are collapsing thankfully nothing happened but uh, that's basically as exciting as my day has been apart from a few games of FIFA and a bit of Fortnite so here we go, a nice golden colour to it Smells like a lager. And yeah, I'm getting lager with oomph is how I describe this golden ale. Uh, and the oomph isn't just the alcohol, it's a bit of forward bitterness, a bit of freshness as well. Yeah, it's very simple, very to the point. At 5.2, it's in a little dangerous territory. I wouldn't call it danger beer, but you could drink a lot of these and not realise that you're going a little bit above, a little bit above, and suddenly you've had a lot more to drink than you realised. So it's a little dangerous in that respect. I wouldn't go, go as far as in danger beer. But you feel that real freshness hit you. And the bitterness comes right, right back towards the front of the mouth. It comes, starts in there and it comes back there. It's a simple one-two punch combination. Gets the job done. This is a very simple beer. Elegant in its simplicity, but simple. And, uh, yeah, no, no. This is a burger and chips beer. Very simple. And I'm not putting anything complex here with this flavor-wise, because you just want to have... And, like, even when I'm saying burger and chips, I'm being very clear... Standard beef burger, basic toppings, maybe a bit of mustard, but like I wouldn't even add bacon, uh, you know. Uh, I want to keep it simple. Obviously my chips are shoestring because I want the crunch, uh, you know. I don't like, look, okay, I'm nothing against chip or chips, but there's this obsession we've had. I was part of it, where that's what a chip is, and oh, McDonald's or skinny fries, I was like, skinny fries are the way forward. Better ratio crunch for starters. Uh, also, for dip, just ideal. Does it, I would rather, if you're telling me by weight, I have a choice between 100 grams of skinny fries and 100 grams of chipper chips. It's not a debate, the skinny fries all the way. Uh, so yeah, and that's something I think of skinny fries. I'm thinking a burger, think a bit of lettuce, a bit of mustard, boom. Would I even go hot sauce? And I'm kind of going, no gotta keep it simple not bland but basic flavors and yeah it's good definitely this time of year I don't see this being a beer I'm jumping to when it's get when the weather gets colder 
like it's been pretty horrific weather we had today in Rathmines to be honest but um, I'm, I'm not think like, you know it's not it wasn't too cold either though you know but when it gets proper grim in the winter this isn't what I'm going to I'd be going more to their red but this good summer beer well worth doing Slanch live glare <laughs>